I hope you're fine. I'm Mr. Kajiru. Uh, today we are going to learn about mathematics, class 4. You are welcome. Uh, the main competence is about measurement, about, and the specific competence of today is about time reading. Uh, today we are going to deal with half past. Half past. Uh, in a clock face, in a clock face, we, we have two arms. We have the two arms whereby these two arms we have the long arm and the short arm. And the long arm is used to show the minutes. And the short arm is used to show the hours. Uh, because today we are going to deal with half past. Uh, half, half, half of the 60 minutes, whereby one hour is presented by 60 minutes, and half of an hour, it is 30 minutes. And in the clock face, you can see from 12, let us see from 12. From 12, we can it is 60 minutes. But when we start counting from the first minute here, one, the first minute, the second minute, the third, the fourth, the fifth minute here. So we get the fifth minute at number one. So the six minutes will be between one and two. The seven minutes, the eight, the nine, the ten minutes. So, eighty-two, it is ten minutes. So, you can just count from twelve to one. It has the interval of five minutes. Five minutes to two, it is ten minutes. When you go to three, it is fifteen minutes. When we go to four, it is 20 minutes. Yet five, it is 25. I've told you that it has an interval of five minutes. Then at six, it is that minutes. Now, as I've told you that today we are learning about half past, half. It means half, you can see. From 12, from 12, when you see our yard, from 12 to 6, it has been made a half, it has a half our sun, it has a half our glow face. So, half. So, when the long arm reach, reaches at 6, means that minutes. Now, let us go for and see the short arm. Let us draw the short arm. As I've told you that the short arm, the short arm shows the, the hours. And the long arm shows the means. So, when it is half past, half past, the short arm must be exactly between two numbers. For example, here, you can see the short arm is between 10 and 11. When the long arm is exactly at 6, and at 60, it is exactly 30 minutes. So, when you read the time now, here, the time is, with minutes, we have 30 minutes. 30 minutes. With minutes, it's, it's clear, 30 minutes. Now, what about the time now? What about hours? What about hours? Between 10 and 11, it means the short arm is within 10 and 11. 
What the, what the previous time between 10 and 11? It means the previous time is 10. So here we have to write 10. 10. 10 minutes. Whereby uh, 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 10 as an hour. So the time is going to be half past 10. Half past 10. In words, going to be half past 10. That is half past 10. Let me give another example here. Short arm should be 
should, should split our two numbers, which is number five and number four. At this, in between. Half past. It is half past four. Uh, as the clock face, the way it is drawn, and the time, the way it is shown here, it is real. Half past four. Half past four. But remember that the short arm it must be between the two numbers. Exactly between the two numbers. Between five and four. Whereby the previous time is four, not five. Because five is going to be the next time. So half past four. Let me proceed with the last example. another time present half past one in the clock face Okay, now we are going to present half past one, 30 minutes past one, half past one. Now, as I've told you that uh, in a clock face, the two arms are going to be used in showing the time. The long arm shows the minutes, because I've told you the long arm when it is half past, how do you get these 30 minutes? I told you we, we count from 12 to 1, it is 5 minutes. From 1 to 2, 5 minutes. So this meant 10 minutes. 10 with 5 minutes again, we get 15 minutes. At 4 we get 20 minutes, at 5 we get 25 minutes, whereby at 6 it is exactly 30 minutes. So the long arm should point at 6. When the long points, when the long arm points at 6, it shows 30 minutes, 30 minutes, now past one, past one, when it is past one, we can't say that past one, we can't put the short arm between 12 and one, and then we say past one, no, because here it seems that one is going to be uh, ahead, it's going to be the next time. So here it is not correct to put the time like this. That uh, half past one, the short arm should be exactly between one and two. Because between one and two, the, the previous time is going to be one. The time behind it is one. 
the time which has already passed with 30 minutes. So that is how to present half past one in a clock face. Nine, three, one, two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Let us present another time here. Uh, present half past seven in the clock face. Half past seven. Uh, as I have told you that uh, our clock face has two arms, whereby the long arm shows the minutes, holds the minutes. And the short arm shows the hours. Now, as usual now, half, because it is half past, the long arm exactly points at six. Past seven. Past seven. Where will our short arm point? The short arm must be between eight and seven. Between eight and seven. Then here, you can see now. The term here is written just uh, in figure. Here it is presented in the clock face. Now, there's an exercise here you are supposed to do by yourselves, whatever you are. Present. Present. Present the following time. In the clock, in the clock face, in the clock faces, number one. Half past five, number two. Half past nine. Number three, half past twelve. Number four, half past eight. 
Number five, half past, half past three. Number six, half past seven, half past six. Half past six. Number seven. Half past two. Number eight. Half past eleven. Number nine. Half past. Half past five, already, half past one. Uh, I, think, I think for today, we have to end there. Next time, we shall proceed with time, if God wishes. Thank you very much for listening. God bless you.